Hey Terrarians, how's it going? My name is Pixelated Fireball, and welcome back to the Polarities mod. And boy oh boy, would you look at that, it's another beautiful sunny day here in scenic wherever we are. I literally do not remember what I named this place. Pretty sure it was some combination of the word Polarities and Terraria. Polararia or something like that, Terrarities. I think it was Terrarities, something like that. Anyway, beautiful new day, and boy oh boy oh boy oh boy, do we have a lot of stuff to accomplish. So, before I do anything else, I gotta say, uh, I made a poll, all right, in the last video. Disregard everything that I said, because I discussed it a little bit in Discord. It's in regards to where I'm going to build my base. Also, ignore what I'm doing right now. I'm doing this because of reasons. It will be essential for later. Ooh, look, Pinky. Okay, total sidetrack. Hold on a second. I gotta kill Pinky with my blender real quick. There we go. Blender up. There it is. Another couple of gold. That'll be essential for later. It's in regards to my base, where I'm gonna be putting it eventually here. And it is something that I plan on doing in this video today, which is why I said ignore this right now. I need to grab a merchant who I can definitely get to show up right now, and I hope he is the one that shows up so I don't have to build too much of a base. But I need to get a piggy bank so I can transport all my stuff over there. But the funny thing that I want to mention, it's actually kind of funny, there were more people that participated in the poll that I had deciding whether or not I'm going to build my base in the ocean or in the desert, which is what it was about if you guys couldn't figure that out. I figure you're probably smart enough to guess that. But there were more people voting where to build my base than there were in what mod to play next, which I, th I thought that was kind of funny. I don't know. It amused me when I saw that. But suffice to say, we're going to the ocean today, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and all forms of existence out there, we're gonna take a trip to the beach. Because you know what? It's a beautiful summer day. And what else do you do uh, in the summertime? Uh, go to the beach and get a sunburn because you're pale and you don't ever go outside. I mean, go to the beach and enjoy the sun and get a nice cozy tan and... You know, other things that are definitely not true and we all know better. Let's grab a house here real quick. Yeah, let's grab a house. Let's go pick it up real fast. Get that built. And I'm hoping, dear lord, that the merchant is the one that shows up, because that'll get this train moving real fast. Because I got a pretty much an empty inventory here. I need to get a bug net as well, because worms are important that I, I, I came to discover. Because of this storm cloudfish boss. Need a worm on a balloon. I need a worm and ten clouds. So in order to make this thing, gotta get some worms. So the merchant is definitely a priority NPC. Even though I'm not going to be fighting the storm cloudfish anytime soon. Of course, that'll be after... King Slime, who also I may end up fighting today. That's another thing that's on the agenda for today. I'm gonna go over to the ocean, try to get some kind of a house started, and see if I can find a cave, because I really would like to have Hermes boots, because I had zero success. Look at this RNG right now. My second pinky in a row. What's it gonna drop? Is it gonna give me a slime staff? Of course not. Why would it do something like that? Who is that lucky? I still haven't gotten a Hermes boots or any flurry boots or anything like that, and I would really like to get some because it's gonna be pretty important for running away from the boss. However, I do have ice skates, and I figured I would take advantage of that and try to build a bridge out of ice up in the sky. I feel like the boost from the ice skates should be good enough. Maybe I'll just use grenades or something like that to blow them up. I guess I'll explore the immediate area while I wait for an NPC to spawn. Does it really take this long? He just does not want to show up. He's not feeling it today. He's a little bit on the hesitant side. He was like, no, 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 I know better. There is no way that I'm going over there. Nope, I know what NPCs go through when they go to your bases. When they show up in your builds, they get eaten by everything. You know, I'm gonna go over there and I'm gonna be minding my own business and relax. And next thing you know, a giant mechanical worm is gonna come plowing through the walls. And next thing you know, I forget what happened five seconds ago and my name is Steve now. It's a miserable existence. It really is very depressing. Finally found that desert, by the way. If I'd have known it was literally right here to spawn, I wouldn't have even, you know, whatever. What is this? This is a weird, uh, weird spawn here. Ah, God, what? Excuse me? Rattler. Okay, Rattler. Face the blender! There we go. Take that. Oh, it's a hole down into the underground desert. I mean, it wasn't really my intention to go exploring over here right now, but maybe I'll get lucky and find some Hermes boots or something else of value in here. Oh, another one of these. Oh, g what? 69 damage. Also, a <laughs> funny number. But 69 damage from that? That little thing. Well, I mean, I guess it is a reference to a rattlesnake, so. I mean, if I got bit by a rattlesnake in real life, I'd probably take 69 damage, too. Probably a lot more than that. I would probably take, like, 100% damage. It'd be like an immediate TKO. I'd be dead. I'd, I would be meat paste in the desert. 
Honestly, I have zero confidence that I would even survive in the desert that long to even find a snake to get bitten by. I, I have a very high amount of confidence in my survival skills. Get ready for me, Bear Grylls. I'm ready for you. I played Terraria. I know how to survive in the desert. You throw your ice boomerang at the vultures, and don't forget to mine lots of sand to make glass so you can make potions. He'll be like, you've been drinking from the wrong cactus, buddy. These are some, like, interesting enemies as well, though. Did they, like, drop anything? I think I remember reading one of the comments for the last video that they do, in fact, drop something of value. I'm not exactly sure. We'll find out eventually. I mean, if we hang out in the desert for a little while, I cannot believe that the merchant is not showing up. He really is afraid of me. I ain't never done nothing to no NPCs. Nothing bad's ever happened to any of them. What are you afraid of? Come on down. Come on over. Spend some time with old Fireball. You'll have a great time, I promise. Ah, God. I swear it just popped up out of nowhere. These things hit harder than the antlions. And this is their house. Well, if I know mods, I'm sure there's going to be a hard mode version of that that's probably going to one-shot me, so I can't wait for that. It's going to be a lot of fun. Ah, keep them back. The antlions are taking about very little damage. They're kind of like the nymphs. It's okay, though. Awesome. Maybe I'll... Oh. Oh, you're a big fella, aren't you? You know what? Remember whenever I said I can't wait for hard mode? Well, you know what? It's going to happen right now. Lucky for me, I've got the drippy yo-yo. The glow-yo. I can just... Just do this. Ah, God, what, what was it? What, what is that? Hey, there's the merchant, finally. Oh, God. Rattler. Ow, God. Can you please... Can, can I just sneak my way over? Oh, wait. It drops rattlers? I'll just let my minion go in and deal with it then. Wait a minute. No, oh, I don't have any grenades on me. Never mind. Slowly but surely, it'll die because I, I would really rather not... Wait, I have some range a little bit here. Use my, my yo-yo, or not my yo-yo, my boomerang. Get down there and kill the rattlers. Kill them all. Kill them all dead. They all dead? They better be. Okay. What did I get? A rattle. Material. Makes a noise when you shake it. Nice. I like it. I can be the rattlesnake now. It's also material. Take a little look-see at what that does after I'm done blending the antlion. Splash of venom. Attacks inflict venom and poison. Wow. Venom gland. Is that a hard mode thing? That Those look like hard mode enemies. And I think that color is a hard mode thing as well. It's gross too. Brood staff. Someone's a nestling, so I can have my own snake. I need some palm wood and sand blocks. And rat -lottle converts projectile to poison darts. Okay, nice. And the rattle staff. Okay, so I need a couple of them. So there's like a reason to hang out over here. So I think I might do that. Just kind of chill, run around a little bit. Antlion mandibles useful for anything special? No, they're not. That's very good because antlions are garbage and I hate them. Anyway, let's take a look-see around. I hear lots of rattling everywhere. And it sounds like a sandstorm up there. Over here is just going to be a big, long experience into why it was a good idea to not build my base in the desert. Because you know what? New mobs that hit very hard, sandstorms, antlions. What was I thinking? Why would I even consider that? The ocean is like one of the best places to build a base at the beginning of the game. You know what? This wasn't even originally my plan. Like, I had zero intention of going into the underground desert at all at any point during this Let's Play. Well, I probably would have found my way over here eventually, but it probably might not have even been until hard mode. I might have taken a peek around, but... I mean, unless there was something special that comes from, like, fossils, I really don't ever go over here much. Because in 1.3, there just there just isn't much here, you know? At least not until hard mode. In hard mode, there's plenty of good stuff over here. Lots of vanity stuff that's pretty cool. There's a mount, you know? There's, there's good stuff. But in 1.4, there's a lot more of a reason to go over here in pre-hard mode. Like I said, I probably wouldn't have came over here at all. Other than to maybe take a look at some of the new mobs. Oh, there's a house. There we go. What did we find? Some statues? What are you going to give me? A spear? Wow, it's a garbage chest. All the way down here. This low. Okay, whatever. Made up for it by putting another one right next to it. So this will have some good stuff in it. No, it won't. It'll have a guide to plant fiber cordage. Now that is a joke. <laughs> Got an herb bag, though, so that's not bad. Night owl potion. Pretty cool. Oh, I should probably take those chests with me. I'm gonna need them for magic storage eventually. Take that. Sure, why not? Zero progress will be made today, I can guarantee it. I'm gonna fight King Slime eventually. I promise you that. I, I will promise you before the end of this video, I will attempt it at least to, to no-hit King Slime. That is the only promise I can make, though. Everything else, you know what? Up in the air. Complete and total progress in my video? We won't be having any of that. I don't think so. Not in my house. Okay. Not in my Terraria. Maybe I'll be fortunate enough to find a extractinator down here. That would be pretty nice. Oh, there's the snake. See, I had to open my mouth. There it is. Right there. 
I throw my 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 knives at him. Actually, does the boomerang do more damage? I think it does. I think the crits are higher. Ah, get away from me. Get all the way away from me. Great. Hey, I got the range. It's fine. I'll just, like, avoid it completely. I won't even go anywhere near him. It's fine. There we go. We got another rattle. And blend him up real good, but I gotta be very careful not to get, you know, poked in the face by one of those things, because, my God, like I said, that is a serious bite. Looks like I only need one more rattle, and I should be able to make everything that I need out of that. Well, I should at least get another one to make sure that I can make that accessory in hard mode, because that might be pretty nice. I mean, you never know. There we go, a gold chest and an extractinator. I'm gonna open it up, it's gonna be Hermes boots. That's exactly what it's gonna be, I guarantee it. Everything I need is gonna be in this one little area here, and then I can go about my business. Nope, it's gonna be a magic mirror. That's fine, I got my extractinator, which means I can get some gems. I can make a hook. Nice. Ah, Jesus! Do you mind? Some of us are trying to live here. 100 and, what was that? 141 damage of a pre-hard mode mob? Nope! And it one-upped itself, 168, I'll show you. Feeling like Indiana Jones right now. I think I understand why I didn't like snakes. I don't like them either. And it's nighttime, lovely. Okay, hi Gilbert, how's it going? Let me take your piggy bank. Oh wait, I forgot. I gotta actually have gold in the piggy bank to buy stuff with gold that's not in my inventory. All right, piggy bank, awesome. Let's grab this extractinator. We'll throw it down over here. Blend up this zombie real fast. Throw the piggy bank down here. Pop it in there, there we go. All my gold in a nice, safe, comfortable spot. So where did all of my silt go? Or my slush, or whatever it was. There is all my slush. Did I not get any silt? Okay, fine, whatever. Let's extract an eight. Hopefully I get lots of good stuff. It's gonna be a very lucrative process right here, I have no doubt. I'm gonna at least get a lot of ore out of it, so, I mean, that'll be good. Maybe I get a little bit of gold. Be pretty crazy if I got a platinum again. I don't think I got that kind of luck in me, though. So far, it uh, appears not. Oh, there we go. Okay, so not a whole lot of gems. Is it enough to craft a hook, though? Out of any of them at all, I'll take any kind of hook. It does not matter. Did I really not get enough of any gem? I am very disappointed. Huh. Okay, then. Good to know where we stand. I didn't get the items that I wanted. The undead hordes are banging down my walls. Things are just not going well today. At least I can take out my frustration on the undead hordes. Blend these guys to bits. There we go. Blend them right up. Get the eyeball, too. Get them all. Suppose I'd best better run back over there to grab my gold. Maybe I can grab myself another rattle. That'd be nice. At some point, I am going to make some kind of a trip over towards the ocean. But you know what? I think it's worth it. Going and exploring the desert. Dead as I might have ended up. And, and every second I spend over here, the desert is going to make me regret what I just said. There's some zombats. There we go. Yeah, come on. Walk forward. Come on, you salt man. Steps. Ow. Come on. There we go. We can do it. We can do this together. Here, go forward, antlion. Taste my salt blender. Yeah. Don't jump up here. I'm drawing a line in the sand. No pun intended, because, you know, I get it's a desert, but you're going to die. There we go. Okay. In the hole. Through the pit we go. There we go. Went from one horribly hazardous environment to the next. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. Anyway. Anyway. Let's keep progressing. I would love to find literally anything of value at all. Honestly, I, I don't need anything in particular. It's still early enough in the game where I don't even care what the game gives me. Like, if it was at the very beginning of the game, I would have had a, a breakdown if I'd have got a guide to plant fiber cordage with a decent reforge on it. Be like, yep, it's a guide to plant fiber cordage, but at least it's got warding on it, or at least it's got menacing. That ah, god, okay, I'm in trouble. Nope. Switched weapons. There we go. Okay, I thought I wasn't gonna make it there for a second. You know what? Forget it. I, I don't care what this weapon is called. Salt, knife, whatever. Doesn't matter. It's gonna be called the salt blender from now on, and that's just how it's gonna be, and there's nothing anybody can do about it otherwise. You just you, you just take that, reality. I defy you yet again. What is down there? Oh, two nest guardians. That's a one shot waiting to happen. And I'm here I am without explosives. That's fine. I got this stuff. And it, it penetrates, it looks like. So you know what? I'll just sit here and chill. Look at all those eggs. Don't you hate it whenever you're just walking through the desert caves and all of a sudden you come across a giant human-sized snake that just explodes in eggs whenever you beat it up? 
I wish snakes gave birth that way in the real world. That would be ridiculous. Did I get another rattle from that? How many did I pick up? Just the one? I heard more hissing, so there's definitely other ones down here. Is it all the way down here? No, it doesn't look like it. Well, there's a rattler right there, right next to the dynamite. Did your mother let you sit there like that? That is a really unsafe place to be. I found in my experience that babies should never be left alone unsupervised around explosive devices. And to be honest, neither should pixelated fireball. I'm not even gonna lie. I wouldn't leave me alone with a bomb, would you? I'd blow it up. I would, I would set it off. No doubt about it. Okay, I hear the hissing, but I don't see the hissing. Why is that? What can we do about this? Oh, it's up there. There it is. Okay, I, I think I just need one more rattle and then I'm good to go. Hey, the traveling merchant's here. It's another day. Okay, great. That's perfect timing. I can travel the world in the daytime and still... You know what? I got no words. Never mind. <laughs> you would think I would know better than to walk within, you know, a hundred miles of one of those. But I don't. I would. You'd be wrong. What do you sell? Ammo box? That could be valuable if I could afford it. Uh, stopwatch is nice. Could make the goblin tech with it, and then maybe eventually the PDA. Cell phone? Okay, it doesn't make some kind of crazy endgame accessory, so I'm not too terribly worried about it. Okay, well, while I have the opportunity, let me loot as much as I can. Get rid of garbage, right? Things that I'm not necessarily gonna need anymore. If it's not a material, basically, it's going in the trash. If it's not a material, or I could get another one easily, I should say. It's all going in the trash. Non-essential building blocks. Gonna try to fill my inventory up as much as I can. Is that another pinky? My god. Every time I lose my gold over there in the desert, I can always count on another pinky showing up to give it right back to me. I love that. Anyway, Gilbert, would you mind moving? I'm trying to... Can I, can I get... Get to my thing here. Okay, fine, whatever. You stand there on that platform. You look a lot better on it than I would. You can be standing at the bottom of the underworld in about five seconds. You don't start doing what I tell you. Anyway, let's deposit some stuff in here. Uh, whatever. We'll just we'll just deposit it all. It doesn't even matter. We're gonna loot everything. Deposit everything. Okay, whatever. It doesn't matter. I think I've got everything. I need to make room for my piggy bank, though. That that's the the bad thing. So the main thing now to decide is which direction to go because I would really rather not have to traverse the jungle at nighttime, and I'm not sure I'm gonna make it there in time. I don't know, I might make some pit stops, collect some larger trees, maybe stuff like this, grab some extra wood. Don't know how much building I'm gonna be doing over here, we're gonna find out. I don't even have an idea for what I want my base to look like, so if you got any ideas down there, let me know. Right now I'm just going over there to set my spawn and make sure that everything's kinda of, sorta of squared away with a basic base. Definitely want to have some regular wood. Don't want to rely entirely on palm wood. Here's the ice biome. The ice biome hasn't been completely and totally devoured by my world evil yet, and neither was the desert. What is going on today? Things are just ridiculous. Everybody else, you know what you know what I'm talking about. Every single time. I was talking about this in the Discord as well whenever I was discussing where to build my base. It seems like every single time, doesn't it? That as soon as you enter hard mode, or generally at world generation, if you don't make like a large world, this right here, this goo, this disgusting sludge, finds its way into your snow biome or your desert. One or the other always gets destroyed. Never fails. You know, honestly, I feel like the salt knife might actually be a good weapon against the Brain of Cthulhu as well in that second phase, because I could just turn it around, and if I'm quick enough with it, I don't think it'll be able to get through me. Because he's got such knockback, you know? Should be all right. But anyway, I'm just impressed. I'm happy with my world gen. Also, these little islands right here, pretty cool looking. Let's see what sign I ended up on, because I don't know what I'm running towards. I don't know what I would prefer to have to run towards. I think being closer to the jungle would be more convenient. So being on that side of the world would be nicer. As it turns out, it is in fact the dungeon. Anything of value? A golden key right on the surface? I'll come back for you. Are there any water candles here? Aren't these a material? Well, whatever. I'll leave this stuff here. I'll be back for it, I'm sure. It ain't going nowhere, so... It's fine. I don't have the inventory space right now. I'm sorry, dungeon. I'll be back for you later. Well, I mean, on the plus side, at least, I'm not gonna have to go running through the jungle when I'm traversing. However, I am gonna have to cross the planet just to get to it. I could end up with some spontaneous King Slime spawns as well. I haven't built a base, I will say, over here this far away from spawn in, like, forever. Here's hoping I don't run into another Crimson. That'd be perfect. If the crimson was completely and totally blocked by the dungeon, I would be thrilled. God, do I even have an ocean on this side? I haven't even come to it yet. There's a lot of open space. There we go. We have arrived at the ocean. Let's see what she looks like. Not a whole lot of sand here. 
I don't know. Should I scout out the other side and see what's going on? There's a demon altar at the bottom of the ocean. That's actually kind of convenient. I think I saw another one over here to the other side. Should I make an underwater house? Or should maybe... I, I don't know. What should I do? I, I'm, I'm at a loss here. I'm kind of at a loss. And there's not a lot of sand over here. I was kind of hoping there'd be a bigger beach. That way I could get um some more things, I suppose. Some more palm wood trees. That's what we're looking for. So I can actually make that stuff with a rattler. Well, it's halfway through the day, and I'm not sure if I could make it to the other ocean in time. Maybe I'll connect the two of them. That'd be kind of cool with teleporters in hard mode. Just build one over here and then connect to the other side, run to that end of it, and just teleport over there again. Maybe I'll just extend the beach a little bit. I think that's what we might end up doing. Because there is that big clump of desert right over there. So maybe what I might do is just take all this sand and just build myself a new beach. Completely and totally reconstruct the entire biome from the ground up. Put some, maybe put some coral down there. Now that I think about it, a little bit of extra something, something. Spice it up a little bit. We'll make this, we'll make this work. I've got some ideas now. I think I can do this. But for right now, of course, I'm just gonna build myself a, a reasonable area here to live in. I'm also happy with how flat it is over here. It's perfect arena building area over here. Oh God, look who finally decided to show up. It's not Helen. Disgusting. Get it away from me. Somebody kill this thing. You know what? You run away from it. You would run away from it, wouldn't you? What a jerk. I gotta tell you, all these little wooden box hotel houses that I'm building kind of giving me flashbacks to the uh, good old days of Terraria. Back when the game wasn't uh, as pretty. It was difficult to make something look really, really nice back then. You know? This is the way everybody used to build. Tell me I'm wrong, honestly. People still build like that. I still build like that. If I wasn't doing Let's Plays, I certainly would still be building like that. It's nostalgic, gotta say. Something this simple could be nostalgic. There we go, there's our bed. Beautiful. So we've got our spawn points set. We're all good to go. Now what I gotta do is dump off some of these chests here. Clean out this inventory so I can go and vein mine a desert. Never mind, it appears as though the world has other ideas. Well, let's see what kind of horrible beasts of nightmare come out of this. You know, I can get through walls with this thing, so I'm really not that worried about it. Also, what lovely relaxing music to get assaulted by horrible beasts of nightmare to, you know? It's very chill. It's very groovy, you know? Nice and comfortable. Um, you know what? I think I'm still gonna risk it for a biscuit, you know what I mean? I think I'm gonna go over there to the desert and vein mine the entire thing real fast. Because... I gotta tell you, I'm not gonna sit over there and do it one block at a time. It just isn't gonna happen. Wild Shackle, what do you do? You make magic cuffs, as always. I figured there'd be something special with those things. And we're back to the nightmare. Okay, well, but I have a reasonable amount of defense. I've got some decent offensive weapons here. I'm mowing through these guys pretty fast. Also surprised I haven't seen any new Blood Moon enemies yet. Maybe I gotta wait till uh, after the Eye of Cthulhu or something like that. That's generally a nice, like break point, you know what I mean? Once you get past that hurdle, then the mods usually start to pick up. At least in my experience, anyway. And I'm out of torches. Neat. Okay, we're almost there, right? Nope, we're not even halfway. Okay. Oh, it's the groom! Oh my! Give me that top hat. There we go. Now we're looking classy. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another beautiful, glorious episode of the Polarities Mod. Is anybody out there British? You offended? You better be. You know, this is a really weird way to spend this episode. I gotta say, this is not at all how I expected this to go. Um, I genuinely thought I'd just run over to the ocean and go digging around in some caves over there and maybe find some Hermes boots, build a little bridge out of ice, and fight King Slime. But, uh, you know, this, this, this will do, I guess. This will be just fine. Okay, we're finally at the desert. Let's just vein mine. Oh my god. That is so weird to look at. Oh my god, look at that. How's that for your ASMR? Wow. I have never done that before. You ever vein mine a desert? You ought to. That is really cool. Hold on. I'm gonna do it again. Oh, that is really cool. That is so neat. Look at it. Look at how it goes. Oh my god, this is probably stupidly loud as well. I bet you all hate this. I like how the desert theme is still playing. I haven't 
deleted enough of the sand yet. I am taking this entire thing, though. There is not going to be any ifs, ands, or buts about it. I'm taking the entire desert. It's all mine. I'm still kind of mad I have not yet received any, uh, any gel from any zombies yet. I'm kind of irritated. Should have brought the merchant over before I left. Built a second house and brought the merchant over, then I could have, uh, could have actually had some. Ah, God. And not get murdered by my own project over here. Oh, there's not enough of it left to vein mine to get the, to do the thing again. There we go. Do the thing. Nice. Ah, bats! Wow. Blood bat. Oh, that is a new enemy. Okay. Never mind. Here I was saying, you know what? I'm surprised. I'm surprised there's no new mobs. I found them. Okay, so let's bring the merchant over here. Definitely gonna do that. He should probably move very quickly because it's nighttime. I'm betting he's not gonna be too thrilled to be outside. Just come make the journey from all the way over there to all the way over here. Remember whenever I started this episode off going, nothing bad ever happens to my NPCs. I treat them great. They have a great time over here. Just take a little bit of a jog from literally one end of the planet to the other. Maybe some more of those blood bats will show up. Maybe I can get like a, a blood bat staff from them as well. That'd be pretty sweet. Hey, there's the angler. You can just kill him, jellyfish. I'm not going to be too upset about that. Zombat staff. There's another one. Nice. Not what I was hoping for, but you know what? I got it. Give me some blood bats, man. Send me some more of those out here. I want to fight them. That's what I want to murder. Maybe give me a shark tooth necklace. That'd be pretty sweet. I'd be happy with that. There's another zombat staff. Not at all what I wanted. I, I keep telling you this. It's not what I want. Maybe they sell for a decent amount and get some silver out of it or something, but it's not what I want. There's a money trough. Thank you very much. Very happy with that. Now I just need a shark tooth necklace and I'll be totally satisfied. There we go. There's some blood bats. Come into the grinder. Don't kill me, please. Oh, no. No, don't you run away from me. I don't allow it. You're all going to die. You're all going to horribly get murdered by my long-range knives. Get out of here. Come back. And it dropped nothing. Oh, well. Whatever. There's a goblin scout. I can take my rage out on that and blend that thing up. Tattered cloth special? Nope, just makes goblin batter standard as always. Well, I guess I did promise you guys a king's slime fight, so I should probably get working on that. I'm gonna run back across, and I'll build a bridge out of ice. Because, you know what, I think my health shouldn't be a problem. I, I don't have a hook. That's gonna be my biggest concern. I have no way to uh, jump around real fast, pull myself towards anything. What is this down here? Oh, look at that. Could be a shrine. And it's not. It's nothing. What a tease. Aren't you funny? Anyway, let's go vein mine over here real fast. Get as much gel as I can on my way over. Collect my gold if it's still sitting over there. And then I guess I'll go back and get started on trying to build some kind of a King Slime arena. Big long platform out of ice, like I said. It's probably what it's going to end up being. All right, that took a lot more time to prepare than I originally thought that it was going to. But here you have it. My beautiful uh, kind of sort of midair ice block bridge. Uh, I kind of forgot that... Um, I guess ice biome enemies exist because they're sure spawning over here. Got some penguins right now, but before there were slimes all over the place. So I don't know what I thought was going to happen. You know, I just totally, the way that blocks in Terraria works just slipped my mind, I guess. But anyways, we got this built. It's probably just going to be temporary. As you can see, I definitely move a lot faster on this than I do on regular ground. Thanks to the good old ice skates. I would have loved to have some Hermes boots, but... You know what? Forget it. We should be fine. So, I got myself my slime crown. I had to go farming for some of that stuff, which was uh, a whole bunch of fun. Thankfully, I had my uh, deep sea crimson altar right there ready to go. So, we're ready to spawn him in at the very least. I'm still holding on to this copper short sword, which I think is hilarious. Anyway, I'm going to try to use some of these regular weapons to beat him at first. But if it takes too long, you know what? I'm just going to go with grenades. I got a whole bunch of them right here with his name all over them. So, let's see if I can actually do this correctly. Because I got some sunflowers spread out. I need to get up here on this platform and get him up here on that platform as quickly as humanly possible before he hits me. Because then it might be a problem. I need to get him to spawn over here. So maybe if I spawn him over here and then get past him and kind of lead him over that ways a bit, we'll give it a try. Okay, let's see if he spawns in on the left or the right. He's on the left. Okay, let's use the alkaline rain on him. Doing a good bit of damage there. There we go. Bring it right down. If I keep my distance from him, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Let's no-hit him. Stay away from all these other mobs, because, you know, it's not Fargo. So, of course, they... Oh, and we've already failed. I got too far away. Ah, what a shame. It's fine. I'm going to have so much slime from this that it won't even be an issue. There we go. Let's just use grenades. Finish him off really quick. I should have just used grenades to begin with. Take him down really fast. Whatever. Either way, you know what? No-hit or not... 
still managed to take him down. See, it's that easy. One little itty bitty mistake, and that's the end of your whole entire m attempt there. I think I might even end up losing to him now because I keep missing all my grenades because I'm terrible at the thrower class. Uh, jump. Oh, that was close. Okay, we're good. Just got to keep a reasonable distance from Stop jumping over my grenades. Your subtle hops are too much of a maneuver for me to deal with. There we go. And goodbye. Okay. King Slime has been defeated. There we go. I got a whole bunch of gel, so I should be able to grab myself another crown try it again. There's a treasure bank. Got ourselves a slime hook, so that takes care of that problem right there. Blend that guy up real fast. And we got some ninja gear. So maybe, uh, maybe I can use that to more effectively have grenades be a better weapon here. Got some better movement speed stuff here as well. Could probably use that. I guess defense doesn't really make much of a difference. Throw the royal gel on there. Who uses that on purpose, by the way? All right. Let's go back and see if we can get some more good stuff from him. Gonna try to fight him again. I am determined to no-hit him. As simple as it is, I, I, I'm definitely gonna do it. I refuse to allow myself to not do that. Do I have enough platinum? That's the question. I do. I got plenty of rubies and plenty of platinum, so let's get to it. Okay, let's give this another try. Where's he coming from? Oh, he's over there. Is he gonna teleport right on top of me? I bet he's going to. There he goes. I got my ninja gear on here, so we're gonna have a little bit of a boost. Ah, run away. Nope, get back. Get back, you jerk. There we go. I don't want to get too far away from him. Got to take advantage of the little bit of extra movement speed that I've got. Basically, I've got to get him all the way down to the end before I hit the end of this path here, or I'm not going to be able to do it. Okay, next time he does that big hop, I got to go past him because it ain't going to work. Yeah, okay, there we go. A little bit more, and come on, come on, come on. Papa needs a new whatever it is you drop for your no-hit, and we're out. Switch to the next one. Go, grenades, grenades, grenades. There we go. The most intense of King Slime fights. And we got it. There is the flawless drop from him. Gotta say, that is definitely a much more exciting way to fight that guy. There we go. We got the whole ninja set, so we can do it a million times if we want. The grenade class. You gotta love it. Not a bad set either. You know what? I, I, I appreciate it the uh, design of the ninja class here, so... Ninja class. Throwing class, I should say. Let's take a look at this item we got here. The Gel Thrower. Shoots bouncing blobs of gel, 66% chance not to consume ammo. Oh. My oh my. Isn't that something? That is actually really cool. I love that. That is really neat. Kind of want to test it out on him again, because I'm curious to see how well his own weapon works against him. I have a feeling I'm going to run out of gel for sure, though. All right, let's try it again, though. And he's spawning from that side. Let's go. Slime weapon. Oh, my God. Yep. That's pretty nice. I like that. It's blowing straight through all the gel that I have. But you know what? It's working. It's working for me. I like it. It looks really nice. Uh, I really wish I would have had enough gold to buy that ammo station from uh, the good old traveling merchant. And we are out of ammo. And I have some grenades left. It's fine. It's okay. Okay. If I can actually hit him with them. See, that's the, the, the crux here. Can't hit him to save my life. Whatever. It's fine. It doesn't matter. I just wanted to see what his weapon would do anyway. All right. Well, with that bit of adventure, I do believe I have completed everything that I wanted to complete. We've got King Slime's flawless weapon, which is really nice, but I'm going to have to do a lot of farming to maintain it, unfortunately. But we'll use it if we can. We'll definitely try that out on the Eye of Cthulhu. Which will maybe be in the next episode. I'm not sure. Got a lot of building to do here. Which I might end up turning into a montage. I don't know. But yep, I think I'm going to call it an episode here, guys. So, thank you so much for stopping by and checking me out. I really appreciate it. And as always, whatever it is, wherever you are, day or night, I hope you have a good one of those. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.